we should try to do this again while I'm still in town. For sure. You have my number now. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Sorry. Don't be. I'll see you two later. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you took his word for it? He was crazy in love with Marianne. Whoever set that fire was doing damage control. And Sam's... Nothing but damage. I guess he really doesn't have anything left to lose, does he? There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So, obviously, the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. I thought I saw something red over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. Can you see anything? 
Nope. Nada. Here, found a switch. That shaved a few years off my life. To something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I, I don't know. Here, the secret keeper, hiding secrets in the clouds. There you go, stalwart moose. Back in your pond, big frog. The old bear's gotta be in his ice cave. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. The Ice King goes in the forest, obviously. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. The very old beaver definitely goes in her den. Crafty goblins go here. That's the pious pelican spot. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. Do you have any idea what the code might be? No. So we should probably see if Marianne hid anything before we go trying to guess. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Well, here it is. Okay, spot the differences. It moves. Oh, some of these parts are buttons. The princess is running away from the mad hunter. Who was sent by the gold lady, according to the story. Do you think the gold lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean... She always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. She ran away. Just like the princess is here. Huh. Is there an extra star here? Or am I just imagining that? It's just a random star. No spec. Meaning. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So Marianne ran away from home, and she grew up kind of rich? Hmm. Maybe that branch looks a little bit different? 
I don't know. It's just a random star, no special meaning. Huh, no goblins. Yeah, in the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the Mad Hunter. So we saved Marianne from something, but not in this version? Even if the branch is a little different, don't really, that's it. Whoa. What's in there? Uh, pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. The Gold Lady is the wise princess's cruel mother, who sent the Mad Hunter to drive the girl back to the palace. The Gold Lady is the wise princess's cruel Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. Gold Lady stays locked up in her castle. An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. Did you know she studied engineering? No, but it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? You think the guy with her is Brent from the letter? I would guess so.
there's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, some of them do anyway. Maybe that's it then. We need to figure out which ones are real. Thing. Oh shit. You think Mary Ann's mom took away her pet? Why would she do that? Maybe as a kind of punishment? Or just because she was mean? The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures? I don't think she was having any fun. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Huh. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? Her father.
What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine, let's keep digging. This just lit up, so I think we're supposed to try this one next. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? Wow, she worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's laws. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be.
And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. She made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? Right, should be easy enough. <laughs> yes. Did it just get darker in here? A baby blanket? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. I was her son. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. Yeah. That must be where he's buried. He was so young. I wish she just explained all this to us. 
I wish you just explained all this to us. The very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. She slapped the post with her- All right. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Broke open the beehive for the bear.
they helped fix the beaver dam. Maybe not. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Wait. They removed a thorn from the front. Maybe not. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Maybe... Not. They broke open the beehive for the bear. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Some roses, maybe? Wait. Some honey? Actually, I'm not sure. Huh. Fresh caught salmon? Actually, I'm not sure. A handful of ripe berries? Wait. A newly bloomed bluebell?
actually. I'm not sure. Hazelnuts. Maybe not. Huh. Fresh caught salmon? A newly bloomed bluebell? Full of ripe berries. Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Crafty Goblin's Loot. That's from the Princess and the Two Thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Did they steal candy? Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? Some flour for the cake, maybe? Or not. Or not. Or not.
Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? Some flour for the cake, maybe? Wait. Did they steal candy? Actually, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Hmm. Didn't they take some of the princess? Wait. What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. Yeah, he was so young. Yeah. That must be where he's buried. A baby blanket. I wish he just explained all this to us. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. This is the spot. I can't believe he's been down there this whole time. We... We played Compass and North Star here. I wish she would have just told us. She tried to tell us. In her own Marianne kind of way. The stories. Yeah. What are you thinking? That we just found out we have a brother, and at the same time, that we'll never get to meet him. It's a lot to process. Poor Marianne. Come on, let's keep going. figure out who Marianne was arguing with on the dock.
Luft. Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. <laughs> 